Joining me now to discuss is Rob Ben Frenette, co-founder and executive director of Bullying Canada. Rob, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. How could a postal strike impact your charity? Uh, we'd be greatly affected by a postal strike. Uh, we receive about 95% of our donations by mail. Uh, our average donor is 75 years old. Uh, us, like most charities in the country, there's uh, about 86,000 of us uh, receive our donations by mail. And uh, this time of year is um, our busiest time. So uh, unfortunately, this is happening at the worst time of the year. And uh, we could, uh, as uh, most charities uh, have said, could be greatly affected by any uh, mail uh, action, uh, whether that's a uh, full strike, rotating strike, um, work stoppage, any of those things. So what's plan B? What are you telling your donors to do in the event that there is a disruption of service? So it, it, it's really tricky because most of our donors are elderly. Uh, they they don't have computers. Uh, so uh, we are encouraging them to give us a call if they're interested in donating by credit card. Uh, we even have some donors who don't have credit cards and they simply mail checks. Uh, so there there's a concern that uh, they won't be able to get their donation in by uh, December 31st to get a tax receipt for this year. Uh, so we're, we're kind of keeping our fingers crossed that we'll be able to get our mailing out um, by Friday. Um, so uh, letter shops and print shops are, are kind of doing their very best to get campaigns out within the next two business days. Um, and uh, we're just kind of keeping our fingers crossed and doing the best we can to get uh, information out ASAP. But uh, by the looks of it, where we don't have any information as to what will happen on Friday, um, everything's kind of up in the air at this point. How much does Bullying Canada rely on charitable donations? A hundred percent. We don't rely, we don't receive any uh, government funding. So we're, we're relying on uh, charitable donations from the general public uh, at 100%. Uh, a hundred A Christmas campaign for us can be anywhere between about ten and fifteen thousand dollars. So it's a it's a big chunk from one mailing, uh, and uh, yeah, it, it can affect our our bottom line greatly and our our programming greatly. Um, so it's uh, it's a concern of ours, and it, it's a concern of the uh, charitable sector as a whole, uh, including food banks, uh, you know, uh, youth programming. Um, a range of charities. So it's uh, it's not only affecting national charities, but it's affecting charities that are a lot smaller. Um, and it's it's a uh, it's an ongoing issue. And uh, you know it's it's affecting charities from uh, churches. So it's it, it's an it's an issue that uh, unfortunately I don't think either side were looking at when they were kind of deciding when they were going to take action. Rob, thanks so much. Of course, we're continuing to follow all the developments with Canada Post, so we appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. Rob Benfernet is the co-founder and executive director of Bullying Canada.